I always like to travel, I always like to, to meet new cultures and I realized that what MAPS gives me, what this career gave me, or still gives me, is that I can actually, I get paid to travel, I get to know people, I'm not, I'm often not going to a country as a tourist, I actually have acquaintances or even friends now who are waiting for me already, who show me that bit of the country they love and they live there. I'm a pure mathematician. I can work anywhere. I don't even need internet. I need a piece of paper. I need a pen. I don't even need a computer to do simulations. I'm very pure. And I can work when the kids are in bed. I can work at home. It's very flexible. I can work an hour here, an hour there. And this is a big luxury. That's this academic freedom, which I was always thinking is one of the most attractive bits of this job. I'm working a bit with coding theory now, so I did find an angle where I can actually use my very pure stuff and try to apply it. So that's actually a lot of fun because for the first time in my life I can say, hey, I have an application here. I'm not sure the engineers will like it, but here would be, there would be something you might be able to program. <laughs> it's as creative as if you would do arts or music and people don't see it because it's often, unless you have a very good math teacher in secondary school, it's it's very hidden that it can be so creative and fulfilling. Don't follow other people's opinions of what they think you should do. Just do what you like. And I can tell from my own experiences and from the bottom of my heart, it is combinable with a family life. I have twins. My partner is an academic who lives and works overseas for large bits of the year because he has a permanent post at an Italian university. We are very well functioning, very happy family. It is possible. <laughs>